Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted a video that in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, it is now possible to change different browser settings from the Bing chat pane using the desktop browser. And as I did mention in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, it seems that Microsoft is rolling out um, the feature using a controlled rollout to a limited subset of users because it is still quite buggy. So that it looks like Microsoft is A-B testing this, but nonetheless, I um, did see it available in my desktop browser. And it's very similar to Windows Copilot, as I did mention in that video, that will be able to let you control Windows using Copilot eventually from your Windows 11 desktop. So more or less the same features are starting to roll out now to the side panel using the Bing chat. Now, just to do a quick recap, as an example, um, I want the browser now to turn on vertical tabs. So I'll just type in V tabs. This is the same example we used last week. And after a second or two while that responds, it then should turn on the vertical tabs. There we go. So the chatbot says I've switched your tabs to vertical tabs. You can change this anytime here or in the setting. So that's just a brief example. Now it seems that Microsoft is taking this feature to uh, control the browser settings from the side panel one step further now in Edge Canary version 117 which is the latest preview version and they are now giving us the option to start um, testing the feature to be able to control your browser settings using your voice from the side pane. So um, the feature is still on a controlled rollout and like most new features it is pushed to different regions at specific intervals and I haven't received it yet. But in the side panel in Edge Canary, um, you will could start seeing a microphone that will replace the add an image. And this add an image will move now to the bottom left of this chat pane. And the microphone will appear where the add an image button is. And uh, um, as an example, um, you can use your voice now. So you click on the microphone, you ask it as an example to turn on vertical tabs. It'll uh, use a voice to turn on vertical tabs. And another example, you can use a voice by clicking on the microphone to turn on light mode. And those are just two simple examples. Now, although I haven't received the feature as yet, if we just head over to a screenshot provided by Leo over on Twitter, who has received the feature once again, yeah, we can see how this more or less will work. So there we can see, use your microphone. There's the microphone. Um, asking it to turn on vertical tabs with the voice and it takes a second or two to respond and there we go. So using your voice, you can click on that microphone, which as mentioned appears here uh, to the top right of the chat field and the add an image now has been moved to the bottom left as mentioned and just to show you that one more time. So there's the microphone and you use your voice, you click on use microphone and you ask it with your voice as an example vertical tabs and there we go once again after a second or two it responds and it switches to vertical tab so that's just a brief example um, of more or less what to expect now it is still very early days and as mentioned it just gives you additional control using your voice which i think is a nice move because currently uh, in the stable version um to be quite honest, typing in a command to turn on vertical tabs, it's a lot quicker just to head up to the icon and turn vertical tabs on and off. So actually using your voice might be a better option and might be a more practical option. And as mentioned, it's still early days. So it means that it may take some time to reach uh, general availability, the stable version. And as mentioned at this stage, because it is early days um, in Edge Canary, uh, it does have a couple of issues. And obviously if it does start rolling out to the stable version or I do actually get the feature where I can actually show you in real time and hands-on. I will obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.